Hey guys, welcome back to Skinny Brew Rugby. This weekend, it is Rugby Championship again. It is the All Blacks versus Los Pumas. It is a big game if you look at how they played last year where the Argentinians actually beat the New Zealanders in that one game. And that was a brutal affair and two very passionate teams playing up, up against each other. So I can't wait to see this one again. All Blacks probably being a little bit more favourites here this time around, but they were favourites last time around as well. So let's see how they play this week around. This game, the two teams look like this. Gagena, he comes in at number one. Medrano, he comes in at number three. That is because the two starting props for Los Pumas, they are back at their clubs in France, unfortunately for them. But it is two strong props that the Pumas do have in Medrano. He's played most of his rugby so far now in Australia in the last year, playing for the Western Force. Montoya, he would have played there as well. Not that he did. Montoya being the captain for the Argentinians now that Matera, after that whole story of him, he's the captain. He's just as passionate. Okay, well, I don't think anyone is as passionate about their nation as Matera, but he's a very passionate man as well. La La La, he retains his position at number three. Uh, but the news in the front row is Amua, the barnstorming runner. I can't wait to see the human wrecking ball at number two, getting a start for a change as well. Very powerful runner. You have to watch him when he does get the ball. Tuna Kwafe, he comes in at number one. Scrum time, who's going to win it? Probably the All Blacks, but that Puma side never, never count them out. Then the other news for the All Blacks is that Retallick, he is the next captain for the All Blacks. It is his first game as a captain as well. I think he's the 71st captain of New Zealand. So big game for him alongside Scott Barrett. There's a big leadership group at the All Blacks as well. They do have a tough task with a very good second row for the Los Pumas as well. Guido Petty back in his preferred position. Don't know what he was doing out at number seven last week or last time out. He's at number four this week. Alamano at number five. That is a good second row combination. Believe me, they can challenge that second row of the All Blacks. Then probably one of the best loose forward combos you'll ever find is at the Los Pumas. That is Pablo Matera, who's playing with some of these guys next year, being at the Crusaders next year. Uh, Marcos Crema, very passionate guy, hard bloke on the park as well. And Rodrigo Bruni, who's outplaying number six and seven at this stage for the Los Pumas. He's been in such good form this last year. So brilliant loose forward combination. The loose forward combination of the All Blacks hasn't done badly at all either. Akira Yohane, he's finding his feet Probably solidifying his position there at number 6. Papali'i continuing at number 7. He's not really shined out that much. But probably a like for like uh, change for a guy like Sam Kane. It's which why they're probably choosing him at number 7. So there's not too many changes when he does come in. Don't know. Maybe you can let me know All Blacks fans. Luke Jacobson. We don't see him play too many games in the starting team for the All Blacks. He is a guy that gives his all when he does play. So I can't wait to see him play again. TJ Peronara and Bowden Barrett. That is extremely experienced halfback pairing who's played so many games together. So I can't wait to see that either. That can be the downfall of the Los Pumas as well. That combination that just knows the everything that the other guy wants to do. And just knows so many moves probably from each other. Then Berta now, he continues at number 9. Big news for Los Pumas is that Sanchez is an at number 10. He is becoming the most cap Argentinian player ever with his 90th game. I think 91st or something like that. 90th game for the Los Pumas this week. It is a big milestone in Argentinian rugby. At number 12, David Avili, just always prolific. He scored so many tries this season. Geronimo, De La Fuente and Moroni. Making the center pairing for the Argentinians. That is an experienced midfield in themselves. Anton Leonard Brown, he continues at number 13. Uh, there's a little bit of a dispute who's supposed to be at number 13 at the moment. There's a little bit of a fight there who's the better one. But it looks like they're continuing with Havili and ALB at the moment. Uh, that combo is still working things out for me. Both teams change both of their two wingers. George Bridge and Reese coming in, the two Crusaders. Very dangerous guys when they are on the wing. Bridge, prolific try scorer. You can't say prolific try scorer if you don't mention a guy like Severo Reese. Very dangerous guys out wide. 
Then it is two teammates from Bordeaux also coming in for the Argentinians with Cordera, the diminutive elusive Cordero out there. And Del Gui, also a very dangerous guy at number 14. At number 15, it is Malia up against Jordi Barrett, who was cleared from his red card for that high jump kick, ninja kick to the face or whatever. He is back in the team with that big boot. They will need him again. They played last week with 20 minutes with a guy less than the Wallabies and they still managed to win the game quite comfortably. The two benches have a lot of changes as well. Taki Hao, he continues at number 16. Bosch continues at number 16 for the Pumas as well. The changes are when it comes to the props. Joe Moody, he is back from his injury. Very excited to see him as well. Probably one of the preferred props for the All Blacks as well. Now that he is back, we'll see how he does fight it out with Bauer, who's kind of solidified his spot as a starting one as well. Lomax in at number 18. For the two Puma props, it is Muzio and Perieto. Lavanini, the hard man of Argentinian rugby, is in at number 19. I always call him red cart on feet. Vai at number 19. Very good luck. He's such a good prospect as well. Uh, Ethan Blackadder at number 20 versus Gonzalez Garcia. He's going to make his debut this week up against Brad Weber, who made a good start last week as well. Damien McKenzie, he played well when he came off of the bench. Chocobara is the youngster, the young center of Toulouse. You have to watch out when he does come on. Rico Ioane at number 23. We'll see if he goes in at center or on the wing. And then the Argentinian star fullback. Uh, Buffelli at number 23 will round out the team with that big boot of his. This game is also happening at the Gold Coast. I do think the All Blacks will win this one. You'll probably have to predict the All Blacks to win, but you never know what the Argentinians do have up their sleeve. I think the All Blacks to win this one probably by, let's say, 15 points. Let me know your prediction down in the comments below. Also, check out these videos next to me. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more rugby championship videos, and then I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.